Good morning for our sidebar today. We're talking a lot about autonomous vehicles and the fact that there are more of them on the road and many are getting into accidents, unfortunately. So we are joined by our experts in the field. We have Dan and Chuck with us this morning from Del Rio and Caraway. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Okay, so let's start with you, Dan. Let's talk first. There was a situation in San Francisco where there was a taxi, an autonomous taxi, a cruise vehicle involved in a vehicle collision. And there was no one in the cruise at the time. And now we're trying to figure out who's to blame in the situation. So this is where it's going now. Yeah. We have a company which just received the day before this accident permission and uh, licensing from the uh, California Public Utility Commission to go ahead and actually have completely autonomous taxis that could collect a fare. Mm -hmm. So this is now a thing. Yep. Uh, it has no person in it as far as we understand who was actually responsible for driving. There were passengers though. Mm -hmm. And so they were driving, the vehicle goes to make a left in front of oncoming traffic, an accident occurs with a car that's proceeding in the opposite direction. Yeah, and based on what I was reading, the person who was coming through the intersection was initially in a turn lane, not really sure if they were supposed to be turning, but eventually went straight through the intersection, hitting the cruise. Now there's two people with minor injuries. Who do you blame in this situation? So this is exactly the kind of scenario that everybody's kind of concerned about yeah. with autonomous vehicles. They have to make some level of decision. The people who aren't there are making some level of decision while they're controlling the vehicle potentially. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that has to be investigated and looked at. Yeah. Was there not the ability to see that this car was you know, coming? Was it speeding and could not be anticipated? Was it truly in a turn lane and went straight and shouldn't have done that? Mm -hmm. There's a lot they're still gonna have to figure out, yeah. but this is exactly the issue is you now have the capability of these vehicles which may or may not be able to react as if someone was truly in them assessing the scene there. Yeah, and this is new territory for the law background of folks and also for those of us on the road, right? We're going to have to realize that this is now a thing, as you mentioned. All right, so Chuck, another story we're following for us, uh, our viewers this morning, is these vehicles getting into accidents more frequently, autonomous vehicles, and as a result, we're seeing more deaths related to these crashes. Yeah, so there's a study that's come out, and what's odd about the study is, is that the data might be a little bit skewed because it's taken during COVID, mm -hmm. and what the study shows is that there is less traffic on the road right. as people weren't going into work. Um, what the experts were saying is with less traffic on the road, there should be less accidents, mm -hmm. which there actually was. There was a decrease in the number of accidents. But what isn't um, going along with what the, the experts thought the study would say is, is there's been an increase in the number of deaths per accident. It's actually increased 18%. Mm -hmm. uh, so they were looking at all the data and they were trying to determine what this is and they were looking at autonomous vehicles. Autonomous, autonomous vehicles are relatively new. The technology is new, but it's, it's gaining exponentially. The problem is, is that the technology, the experts are saying, doesn't take into account the human factor. Mm -hmm. So when you have less vehicles on the road, people drive faster. They drive a little bit more reckless, mm -hmm. is what the, the data is suggesting. The autonomous vehicles are prepared to drive in traffic with other vehicles that are also following the rules of the road. But when you take into humans that are driving faster, cutting people off and things of that nature, mm -hmm. what's happening is the higher speeds, the more reckless driving is causing the autonomous vehicles to get in worse accidents, which is creating mm -hmm. a higher death rate. Okay, very interesting. And obviously we have a lot more time to figure out exactly how these are gonna start to play out in the court system because that's what's coming next, right? All right, thank you both so much, Dan and Chuck with Del Rio and Caraway. And that is our sidebar segment today.